Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my workout routine. I did one of these last year, but my exercise routine has hugely changed since then. I am doing more exercise now than I've ever done before, and for the first time ever, really, I am really enjoying it. Historically, I've always hated PE, I've always hated running, and any kind of workout apart from gymnastics, but now I'm going on daily runs and cycles. I've surprised myself by actually becoming a huge fan of it. So I'm going to be showing you my daily fitness routine. It does change from day to day, sometimes I will do more than other days. This is typically the exercise that I would do on a normal day, if it's sunny. Oh, and at the end, I will also be showing you all of the active wear I own, because I do get quite a few questions about that, and I'm also going to be showing you all of the gym equipment I own. So, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so my exercise routine starts in the morning. I like to come outside and I get my air track and my air roll out for the day. First thing I do is some ankle exercises which were sent by my physio. So if you didn't know, I had an ankle injury last month. I tore the ligament and basically that means that I'm still having to strengthen my ankle. I can't do exercise as intensely as I was doing it before the injury. So in the morning, the very first thing I do before stretching is my ankle exercises because I need to do these three times a day. So as I said, the very first thing I will do is my physio exercises. Usually this only takes me about five minutes to do. The next thing I do is a full body stretch. Then I like to just jog up and down my air track. Obviously this is not exercise really. I, I don't know, this is just quite good for warming your body up, I suppose. I will also just stretch my arms. These are all the arm stretches I do. I do some lunges as well. And then the most important thing is stretching out your wrists and your ankles, I think. So I spend a few minutes just stretching out my wrists properly. Next, I do some gentle split stretching. As I said, I don't do a proper split stretch in the morning. I just stretch out my straddle, but I won't actually go into my splits. Then I stretch out my back. I just might use my air roll to do this and then I will go into a bridge. And that's it. It's now nearly midday and I am going out on a walk with Lola. So some days I will go on a dog walk by myself. Sometimes I'll go on a dog walk with my family. Okay, it's a couple hours later and I'm going to do my main workout now. So the first thing I do is a little bit more stretching. So as I said, I don't do my split stretching until a bit later. So here I do a little bit more of an in-depth split stretch. So I will go into my straddle and stretch each leg individually and then put my hands round so that my belly is lying on the floor, which I find is a really, really good stretch. Then I will just stretch out each leg individually and go into my splits. Then after doing some stretching, I will do my second lot of ankle exercises. Whilst I'm doing my ab workout, I like to listen to an audiobook. At the moment, I am listening to Why We Sleep. So the first thing I do is 40 sit-ups and I do half of these as gymnastics ones, the ones I used to do in gymnastics, and then half of them are proper sit-ups. Then after that, I do Russian twists. I do 100s. I will do up and down plank and also hold the plank for one minute. Then I will do 30 crunches. I will do 20 of these clap crunches. I will do 30 heel taps. And I will also do 100 bicycle crunches. It's pretty basic, but that is it and it only takes about 10 minutes. And here's the whole thing together because I didn't film it all when I was showing you what I did. Okay, it's now actually a different day because the clips that I did before didn't come out very well. So I'm gonna show you the gymnastic -y things that I do. So 
So I will start off by just practicing some forward rolls, handstand forward rolls. I will practice holding my handstands for longer. I will practice doing cartwheels using the line on the air track. Then I will get out my air roll usually and I will do these preps for front handsprings and back handsprings. I can usually do front handsprings but at the moment it puts too much impact on my ankle so I can't. I will also use it to practice back walkovers, which again, put too much impact on my ankle at the moment. I will do these kips, which I find are really good for your core as well. I also like to use the air roll to do this core exercise. After that, I will usually play with the dogs at some point during the day because I do really love getting outside with them. It's really good fun. Um, but that, how long I spend with them really depends on how hyper they are. And then in the evening, I will go for a cycle ride with my family and that's it. Now, as I promised, I'm going to show you the active wear that I own. Okay, so the first thing I've got is this white windbreaker from Calvin Klein, and I am so glad that I bought this. This is quite new, only about six weeks old, and I wear it for pretty much every workout session that I do. Then I have two tops from Rath, this first one, and I've also got a white long-sleeved one. Then I've got this mauled white t-shirt, this short-sleeved sweatshirt with an ampersand on. I got this from Primark in 2011, so I've had it for a long time. I've also got this baggy Gilly Hicks top, which again is very old. And I've got this cropped sweatshirt from Abercrombie. Then for bottoms, I've got two pairs of black leggings from Fabletics. I haven't stretched. I've got also got this pair of white running shorts, which go really well with the jacket, by the way. Um, and these I got from H&M when I still shopped at H&M. And then I've got two gymnastics leotards, one with long sleeves and one with no sleeves. Okay, so as for gymnastics equipment, I have four big pieces of gymnastics equipment. The first one, which you have seen, is my air track. I use my air track every single day. I've had it for around six weeks now and I use it every day. If there's one piece of equipment you're going to get, definitely 100% recommend an air track. I hardly ever use my gymnastics mat anymore because of it. So my air track is from Air Track Factory and I got it from Gym Aid. Then next, as I said, I have got a gymnastics mat. I got my gymnastics mat for my 15th birthday. It's the purple panel mat from Tumble Track. This is a really good high quality mat. Then Thirdly, I have got an air roll, which again, you see in the video. So I got mine from Canons UK and that's because they were doing a massive sale on it. It was down to 80 pounds when usually air rolls are around 400 pounds. So I thought that was a really good deal and I do really enjoy using my air roll. I mainly got it to practice preps for back handsprings, but I have ended up using it for so many different things. I think it's so versatile a piece of equipment and it's really fun to use as well. The fourth and final piece of gymnastics equipment I own is a beam. I have got the Brianna beam from Tumble Track. Again, I got this when I was 14, 15. And since my ankle injury, I haven't been using this, but before my ankle injury, I was using this maybe every other day. It's a few centimeters off the ground, so it's a great substitute for an actual beam that you can use at home. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope in some way it could have been helpful. Remember, I am by no means an expert when it comes to fitness um, and exercise. I have only really recently got into doing this and please do correct me if I'm doing anything wrong in my fitness routine, but it's working for me and I enjoy it and I'm finding it's a really great way to clear my head. I feel a lot better for it and I feel a lot healthier for it. So um, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have a productive week.